Well, according to the dictionary, a muscle car is any group of American-made two-door sports coupes with powerful engines designed for high-performance driving. I mean, that's what the dictionary says. But it's also the focus of this new book. It's called The Age of the Muscle Car, and its author is Clay Fees. Clay is with us. He is from Sepulpa. He joins us this morning. Okay, this, uh, you just look through it between the pictures and the writing. I mean, this book look like a labor of love is that a fair assessment uh, that's 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 really fair i've i've uh i've been in muscle cars and been a fan of of old cars since i was a kid since the, the, the mid 80s so i want to start with um this one picture because this is this the love of your life besides your family uh that that's that's one of the two and they they get close to rivaling even the family my, this <laughs> car and I've, I've got another one as well but tell but, us uh, what that is that's a 1966 pontiac gto um I bought it from the original owner's widow back in 1995 and have, have restored it and, and kept it and shown it. It's back in paint right now, uh, getting a little TLC, but that's, that's, my, that's, that's my pride and joy right there. What is kind of the goal or the purpose of this book? Well, so I, I was a middle school teacher for a long time at Kellyville and other places, and uh, um, I wanted to take uh, what, what, the, the tone and the tenor and the way that I taught um, middle school and and kind of put it in book form to to bring up the next generation of car enthusiasts because you know once the baby boomer generation fades away and then and then me the, the next generation somebody's got to carry the torch and and so that's what I was trying to do was was really um, instill a, a love for these cars in, in younger kids. I have a daughter who is, who is interested in cars, and so I really kind of aimed it at her. Perfect. Now, I've got a couple more pictures I want to show here. This gorgeous 64 and a half Mustang. Yep. I had to put that in there. My dad was a Mustang fanatic from the very <laughs> get-go. Ford man all the way. Right. It's a beautiful car. What is it, and we can just kind of go through these. Sure. What is it about these cars that really, that, that made them the what they are? Well, they were, they were, there was a lot going on in the 1960s, and they are iconic of that era. Um, you know, you had the civil rights era, you had the counterculture of the war in Vietnam, and, and the, the cars were just a part of that. And, and, and they're, they're iconic. They're, it's an era of, of, you know, big displacement engines in, in mid-sized cars that anybody could buy that's never going to come back. And, and there were so many of them, and the period lasted such a short amount of time that, that it's just a, a unique window in American history and, and I think that people that still resonates with people today people may not know exactly what a, what, what an old muscle car is specifically which one it is but they know it's an old classic sure. car the thing I love about it is you, your book came out the end of January and right, right off the rip it was very popular it, right it, it was I was blessed uh, uh, it was uh, Amazon's number one uh, new release in automotive books. So, That's awesome. Yeah, I was I was very blessed with that. Now, will there be another one, or you think this is it? <laughs> I've never written anything before. Um, may never would, write again. May never write again. <laughs> I might. Uh, I've got some ideas kicking around. We'll we'll see. But that one. That's, that took a lot of energy, uh, took up a lot of bandwidth. That's awesome. Well, I want to let you know, if you're interested, this Sunday you can join Clay for a book signing. It's happening at the heart of Route 66 Auto Museum there in Sepulpa between 10 and 4, I'm uh, sorry, 2 and right. 4 on Sunday. Looking forward to that. I do want to quickly mention you're a lieutenant colonel in the Oklahoma National Guard. That's correct. And I just want to thank you for oh, your service you. with that. Oklahoma National Guard, best best side job you could ever have. So I encourage anybody to, to look into that. Thank you so, so much. You and bet. thanks thank for you. the book. This is a really good, <laughs> it's a treasure. It's got a lot of information in it. Thank you very much.